What's up guys, my name is Ace, and we got an update today that we have been expecting, and today I wanted to go over all the details with that. The key points I did discuss a few days ago, we knew this was coming, but now we're actually going to go look at the before and after with a lot of these things. The key points are an adjustment to the concussion grenades, cluster grenades, as well as armor in Blackout. Unfortunately, we didn't get the weapon balancing in multiplayer that I was hoping we would get with this update, although after reading back towards the tweet from Tony Flame that was confirming that we were getting a weapon update, it didn't actually confirm the date, and I was just kind of assuming it would be within this update. So hopefully we get that one soon. But the big thing here is we got some great tuning changes in Blackout, or at least that's my initial impression of them. Let's start going through this, and let's kick it off with the Concussion Grenade. This is one that the community has been asking for for a very long time, and they've nerfed it quite noticeably. First, let's have a look at the before with the Cluster Grenade. This is what it used to be like before this patch, and as you can see here, it was completely blinding. It really slows your movement as well as your ability to turn your aim down quite significantly. And what this meant pre-patch is if you got a good hit with a Concussion Grenade, it was essentially a free kill for you. Now let's have a look at the post-patch concussion grenade. As you can see here, it's not nearly as blinding as it was before. It still does have a decent flash to it, but you can see what's going on in front of you. Your hand will still come up, so you can only hit fire at that point, so you won't be accurate. But the duration is also noticeably shorter. The duration pre-patch was 4 seconds, and post-patch, the duration of the effect of the concussion grenades is just 3 seconds. In addition to that, the patch notes state that players that are concussed will now be able to use equipment, continue using equipment, perform melee attacks, as well as switch weapons while they're stunned, whereas before the patch, you couldn't do any of those actions. And another thing they mentioned in the patch notes that I didn't test the before, so I don't have a before and after for you, is the throw distance of the concussion grenade, so you can't throw it quite as far as you used to, so that'll make it more of just a close quarters piece of equipment. Now one last thing, and this is something that I really can't test accurately, but they did state it in the patch notes, is when you're stunned, you will have a slightly tighter hip fire spread than you used to before this patch. Pre-patch, the chances of hitting your shot while hip firing, unless that person was right in front of you, was basically slim to none. Hopefully that has improved, but like I said, I really haven't had the ability to test that because you don't actually get the hip fire crosshairs when you're stunned. So that was the nerf to the concussion grenade, and my initial impression is it was a great nerf. It's still a very usable piece of equipment. It will still give you a leg up as you're pushing somebody. It will be great to throw that concussion grenade, slow their aim down, and make it so they can't fight back against you nearly as effectively. But it's no longer going to be that type of equipment where you throw it, and if you get a hit, it's essentially a free kill for you. So that was the nerf to the concussion grenade. Now let's look at the nerf to the cluster grenades. And this nerf wasn't nearly as extreme as with the cluster grenade. With this, the first thing that they did is they increased the amount of time it takes after it leaves your hand until it explodes. Pre-patch, the moment that cluster grenade would leave your hand, it would explode in 1.7 seconds, which often meant that you didn't have time to evade that. If somebody threw a cluster at you, by the time it hit the ground, it was often exploding, and therefore you couldn't really react to that and get out of that situation. Post-patch, it takes significantly longer. It now takes 3 seconds for it to detonate once it leaves their hand. This will give people a much better opportunity to try and evade that cluster grenade. It's still going to be a great piece of equipment for pushing people out of cover. If you get a good throw on that, it's going to force them away from their piece of cover, which will then allow you to get shots off on them. And it's no longer going to lead to nearly as many of those situations where it suddenly lands at your feet, and before you have time to even think about it, you're already dead. The second thing they nerfed with the cluster grenades is they actually reduce the damage that these small clusters will deal. So the initial explosion will still deal the same amount of damage as before, but once those clusters come out, they now deal less damage to you. And I actually managed to calculate this based on a few tests. Pre-patch the cluster grenade, if you were standing right on top of one of those mini clusters and you had full health, it would deal 128 damage to you, or roughly 128. It kind of depended if I was directly on top or maybe a little bit to the side, but that's what I was able to calculate. And post-patch, it now only deals roughly 93 damage if you're standing directly on top of one of those clusters. So it will still deal a fairly considerable amount of damage to you, but it's not going to get you down to the point where you're basically just one shot away from death. Honestly, this little nerf I don't think is going to have a severe impact on the cluster grenade. It's mainly that first nerf where they changed the timing on the explosion of it. That's going to make the cluster grenades a lot less effective than they were pre-patch. As for my thoughts on the nerf to the cluster grenades... Honestly, I didn't really strongly feel that it needed any big nerf, but I can see that it was definitely a bit more powerful than the other equipment. And I think these nerfs were appropriate. I don't think they took them too far. People will have a little bit more time to react, yet it will still push them out of cover. And the actual initial explosion itself will be just as effective. It's just those little cluster grenades aren't going to be quite as effective at taking out enemies. 
So finally, the last big blackout change with this update, and this one is very major, and it'll be interesting to see how it ends up playing out, was a fairly massive nerf to armor across the board. So what they've done is they've reduced the effectiveness of the damage protection that you get from armor. So therefore, more bullet damage will be allowed to pass through that armor, and you will be taking more damage from shots than you were before. With level 1, they reduce the damage protection from 30% all the way down to 15%. So they cut this damage protection in half. And what this means is pre-patch level 1 armor would soak up usually 2 to 3 shots depending on the gun and the range and everything like that. But it was generally about 2 to 3 extra shots it would take to kill somebody that had level 1 armor, assuming you were shooting them in the body. After this patch, with some guns, it takes exactly the same number of shots to kill a level 1 armor user as it would take to kill somebody that doesn't have armor at all. And in most cases, it will now only soak up one extra bullet. So level 1 armor is practically useless now at this point. Like I said, it will often soak up one extra bullet, but that's pretty much it. Unless we're looking at like SMGs at longer ranges. As for level 2 armor, they reduced the damage protection from 40% all the way down to 25%. So they didn't quite cut it in half, but still a significant decrease to the armor protection. And what this means is pre-patch level 2 armor would generally soak up 3 to 4 extra bullets depending on the weapon. Again, there were some exceptions where it would only soak up 2 extra shots. But generally speaking, it was 3 to 4 extra shots it would protect you from. Now, after this patch, level 2 armor will only soak up about 1 or 2 extra shots. That's it. So level 2 armor now is actually worse than level 1 armor was before this update. This just leaves us with level 3 armor, and with this, they actually did a few things. First up, the damage protection was reduced from 50% all the way down to 35%. So this is now right in between where level 1 and level 2 armor was before this patch. And that means it's generally just going to soak up 2 to 3 extra shots to kill at most. So once again, a very large nerf to level 3 armor. But in addition to that, for level 3 armor specifically, they removed the explosive damage resistance that level 3 armor used to have. That was one of the unique perks of level 3 armor is you would take less explosive damage. They also removed the melee weapon reduction with level 3 armor that that used to give you. You no longer get any reduction to the amount of damage you take from a melee attack. And also with level 3 armor only, they've now made it so it takes twice as many armor plates to repair it. So when you look at the armor condition, you still have 5 bars with level 3 armor, just like with level 1 and level 2. However, one armor plate with a level 3 armor will now only replenish half of one of those bars. Whereas with level 1 and level 2, it will still replenish a full one of those bars per armor plate. So they really have nerfed armor across the board into the ground completely. They've pretty much cut the effectiveness of all of the armors in half, and even a little bit more so with the level 3 armor because of the extra nerfs they added onto that. And like I said, I'm really interested to see how this ends up playing out. This one definitely requires a little bit of playtime, which I don't really have at this point. So I don't have much of an opinion. I'm a little worried they took it a bit too far. I'm concerned that the time to kill might end up being too fast. And when you get a really fast time to kill and only one life, this could lead to people camping even more because it's scarier to go outside because you can't make it from point A to point B as easy before somebody picks you off. So I'm definitely a little bit worried about this, but at the same time, I am kind of glad to see that if you don't have armor, or if you only have level 1 or level 2 armor, and you're battling against somebody that has level 3 armor, it's no longer going to be that situation where that level 3 armor user has such a big advantage over you. But with that, that pretty much wraps it up for the changes that came to Blackout. I did also want to mention that the Ambush game mode is live for Blackout for PS4. And with this, it's snipers, melees, and launchers only, which is really exciting. I'm really excited to check this out. And then also in this update, there were really no big multiplayer changes at all. There were a bunch of bug fixes and stuff like that. I'll leave a link to the patch notes down below if you want to check those out. But nothing that will really affect the game-to-game -game sort of balance. So with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. Of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about these changes they've made to Blackout? I'm most interested in your guys' opinion on the nerfs to the armor. Do you think they took that nerf too far? Do you think it'll be fine as is? Or do you think it was better off before this patch? Just let me know all your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.